I'm Peg Breen of the New York Landmarks Conservancy, and we're on another Tourist in Your Own Town adventure. We're at the Weeksville Heritage Center in Crown Heights. It's one of the most important African-American sites in the city, and nationally important as well. These simple wood frame houses are what remain of what was once a large free black community that was founded here in 1838, shortly after New York State abolished slavery. During the Civil War draft riots, blacks from Manhattan fled here for safety. Eventually, several hundred people lived here, laborers, craftsmen, business and professional people. They owned property, had their own schools and churches, and started one of the country's first black newspapers. The city's inexorable street grid and urban renewal eradicated most of Weeksville. The site's remarkable history was rediscovered in the late 1960s, and the community rallied to save and landmark these remaining buildings. The buildings date from the 1840s to 1880s and face an historic road. It started as a Native American path and was later used by Dutch and colonial settlers. The interiors of the homes each show artifacts from different periods. This one illustrates how a Weeksville family lived in the 1900s. A building representing the 1930s has oral histories from family members of the people who lived here. Their memories of a garden spurred this one, which serves as an educational tool. The Weeksville Heritage Center has regular tours for school groups and visitors. They are completing a new visitor's center that will open early next year with additional performance and educational space. Weeksville is a rare survivor, well worth a trip off the grid.